Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Wilmington, Delaware at the Hagley Car Show, held on the grounds of the Hagley Museum and Library, which is actually one of the original DuPont manufacturing facilities where they made gunpowder. Go figure. This is a great show. It's capped at 600 cars, but I gotta tell you, the drive-in alone is worth the price of admission. What a great facility, but I digress. There are some incredible machines here. Let's get around and check them out. You'll dig it, I think. This kid's cool. I like this kid. John, how you doing, man? Good, Dennis. Glad to have you here. Oh man, I am. I'm loving this. What a what a show, but what a place. What a facility. Well, welcome to Hagley. Hagley Museum and Library, right? Yes, sir. Which is the the grounds of one of the original Dupont. Plants. Correct. This is where DuPont started in 1802. Making? Making gunpowder for 120 years. That's a lot of gunpowder. It really is. <laughs> the site is so amazing and coming in this morning, it, you know, actually I got up earlier than I normally get up for a show because I couldn't pass up. Worthwhile. The shots coming through, what do you call it, the powder Absolutely. yard? Powder yards, powder yard. yeah. I mean, it's it's fascinating. I mean, you know, the, the buildings and everything, just and the grounds, it's just gorgeous. Well, this is the Brandywine Valley, and uh, uh, we're lucky to be along a, a, a mile and a half of the Brandywine uh, River here, and that's, of course, where they uh, got all their power. Uh, a lot of mills along here, and the powder mills, of course, no exception. So uh, we uh, have been very fortunate to uh, keep the place going. You've been doing this for 10 plus? How? Uh, this is our 16th year. Okay. So we're, we're very excited and I think probably our best show. It just gets better and better. Well, you got a perfect day and you, Absolutely. you, well, you cap it at what, 600 cars or something like 600 that? 600 cars, we have to stop. We run, out of, run room out of room between that and the public, of course, it, it gets, uh, yeah, it gets pretty hectic. I got to believe anybody that's been here comes back though. They do. And uh, that's that's why the, the popularity, I think it just accelerates over the oh, years. It's spectacular. And, then, and you always have a, a theme. Uh, and this year's theme is, is rumble seats. It's I rumble seats, it. absolutely. So yeah. how many of those did you pull in? Well, I think we have about 55 here right now on all absolutely gorgeous cars. And spanning, I mean, and the things you'd expect. And we've turned some of those away, too, so. <laughs> Boy, you're, you're tough, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you, you, you expect the Chevys, you expect the Fords, but I mean, there's there's rumble seats and things that I didn't know they did rumble seats uh, Absolutely. And, and it's you, a triumph over there. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, a Cadillac, it's, it's, it's really pretty probably cool. probably the, the latest rumble seat, because 39 was basically the last year for American rumble seats. Uh -huh. That one, I think, is in the 40s. Of course, uh, we also have a DuPont car here. You've probably seen it, a They're DuPont Speedster with a rumble seat. And you beautiful talk cars. about rare, that's, that's as rare as That's very rare. Well, it's, a, it's, it's fitting that you would have a DuPont car here on the grounds absolutely. of the Absolutely, and facility. we have one that lives here uh, 24 hours a day also. Yeah, that's great. Well, John, you got a fabulous facility, a fabulous show. The place is packed today. There's some great cars here. I got a lot of work to do. I know you do, but let's go look. There's a Packard over there. I just got okay. To well, Mike, this is a this is a sweet piece. I saw you rolling with the bomber helmet, goggles, the whole thing. <laughs> this is a kind of a repl racer, right? I mean, you you built this to be true to the way they were back in the day. Built the body as close as I could to what you would have seen in Daytona or Indianapolis in the 20s. Man, so what, what she built on? It's built on a 29 Ford chassis, all original running gear, uh, with the latest period speed equipment at the time. Did it start life as a, you know? As a four-door sedan. Really? Yeah, <laughs> rather than finish that, I went for the fun route. <laughs> and always loving speedsters, collecting photographs over the years. and. Uh, wow got the idea and just tried to make it as close as possible. So you hand form the whole body? She's all aluminum? All aluminum. Like English wheel or, you know? Uh, no, it's all done on the garage floor on a piece of cardboard. You're not serious? Yeah. That is amazing, man. And you know, uh, 29 wheels too, I mean. Yep, everything you see would be the same under a normal 29 Model A Ford. Seriously, and you riveted it all yourself in there? All 316 solid aluminum rivets. Gosh, and, and, uh, and these are the old style Racer. Uh, Brooklyn style windshields. Yeah, Brooklyn style windshields. Where'd you find those? eBay. Man, that's great, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you can yeah, find, you can find, you can find anything there. there. That's right, man. So, Stuart Warner gauges, and, and here, in fact, here is the bottom that's, helmet. That's what I wore on the way in, yeah. And you look marvelous in it, oh, I gotta thank tell you. you. <laughs> what are the seats? The seats are like a vintage uh, sports car seat that's oh. real good for holding you in place. 
because there's not a whole lot else to hold you in place. No, there's wow. really not. Holy cow. And then your boat tail, the boat tail was just what you would have seen back in the 20s, the so they, latest aerodynamics. So they couldn't draft. You can't draft right, all those. No draft on that. Man. So you're still running a Model A block? Stock Model A block uh, with a high compression speed head on a seven to one compression. So you've, been, you've played with it a little bit. Yeah, it's got a little, a bit, a little tinkering in there. Let's go look at it, man. Oh, no, that's cool. So, wh Equalizer, what's, I'm not familiar with that. That's from the Secrets of Speed Society. <laughs> Is it an original or it's a? It's a reproduction of an original. And what are your carbs? Those are uh, 97? Stromberg 81s. 81s, okay. They're from the, uh, the 60 horsepower flathead V8. They work a lot better with a four cylinder. So, you know, the body weighs what? Uh, body weighs probably just about 100 pounds. It's gotta be a screamer. Oh, it is, it's pretty wild. I'm glad you brought it up, man. Definitely. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. 29 Model A Speedster. Well, Charlie, I saw you rolling in this morning <laughs> through the powder yard there here at Hagley, and I thought, what is that thing? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one. It's a, it's a, it's a steer pook halflinger, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. What year? It's 1971. They were originally designed for the Austrian army. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. But this was imported into the States for two years, 71, 72. How many did they import? They brought 103 in in 1971. That's it? Yep, I think 113 in 1972. I love the uh, safety features. Don't the, fall out. You got this <laughs> strap here. That's a side guard beam there. Yes, side side guard <laughs> beam, huh? <laughs> Pretty. And what a what a wild looking. Uh, is that the gas pedal? The That's, snakes around there like that? Yes, it's actually a very good design because it allows you to rest your heel on the floor. Yeah. And stretch your oh, leg okay, out a little yeah. further, and then just use your toe rather than keeping your whole foot back on the pedal. So you got it. A plate right here that what says it conforms to U.S. Yes. standards. Yes, they were imported into the states through a company in Texas, and they had to have that plate on there to make sure that it was meeting the safety standards. <laughs> you know, I find it hard to believe that this meets any <laughs> safety standards. <laughs> so, so it's a, it's a four-wheel drive, right? Or it's rear-wheel drive oh, with yes. okay. front-wheel drive additional. So what powers it, and where is it? Engines in the rear. All right. It's a flat oh, twin, cool. yeah. air cooled, 650 cc's. Four stroke? Four stroke. A 650 four stroke flat twin, Bo boxer flat twin. engine, basically? Yes. Wow. It's like half a Volkswagen engine, basically. How long have you had this thing? Probably about uh, 16 years. No kidding. Mm -hmm. And is it, I mean, is it pretty gnarly? Does it, can it do just about anything? It'll go anywhere, but not very fast. <laughs> <laughs> what is the top speed of this thing? Top speed is limited by the governor on the back here to 44 miles an hour. What a cool machine. Great. Hey, steer Pook Halflinger. Halflinger. Pathfinder. Halflinger <laughs> Pathfinder. Yeah. We just keep, does, does it have enough names? <laughs> we'll make the names bigger than the car itself. <laughs> Thank you very Charlie, much. What a, what a wild ride, man. Great. Very cool. Can't miss it. No. Irene, this is an interesting car. Uh, I mean, it's a, what, a 1918 Caddy? That's correct. And what's the model? It's what? called a Type 57. Type 57. Which is, you know, they didn't always change the model every year in those days. So this spanned, 57 spanned a few years? Then, Would have actually? been a, a 1918 or 19. So you've had it since 39? Yeah, yeah, that means 70, what, 72 years ago. Well, this is so cool. Now, you, you actually even have in here what they called the, the fat man steering wheel, is that right? Oh yeah, this is set up now for a, a fat man to get into the car. If he wouldn't fit through here, I can just barely go through there and I put scratches with my belt buckle all over the <laughs> wheel here. <clears throat> so I learned to drop the wheel before so, I get she's, in. She just drops like that, you just pinch yeah, it just down? Yeah, just squeeze these two little that. buttons together and that's it. And is this the original wheel, original oh, yes, mechanism? Oh yeah, this is, there's nothing new about this car except the seal beam headlights and the uh, the upholstery went new in 1962. And this is the gauging that, that was in a 1918 Caddy? Yeah. And how about these little jump seats back here? That... Well, that makes it a seven passenger touring car. You see, these are 
the, you can lean, let people get in the back that yeah. way, or you can actually close it all up that Stash way. Stash them away. So that uh, makes a nice family car. I'll say. Now, what powers the, the, the 1918 Caddy? A V8 engine. Can we look at it? Yeah, we got to have a look at gotta that. Got to have a look at that. You want to go around and have yeah. a look? All right. Whoa. Now that's wow. the 314 cubic inch V8. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Can you yeah. fire it up? Sure. Go, go over there and fire it up. I want to see this thing run. I'm a thin man. Yeah, you, you can get right in there, man. Here's the fuel pump. Yeah, we're all set. That's fantastic. It runs like a a champ. Okay. Dude, this is a fantastic car. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you for your car. You're an interesting right. character. So I shut her down? Shut her down. Now that's a car. Well, George. TVR. I've always loved TVRs. <laughs> they're just, they're really cool looking cars. This is a 74? Yes. And it's a 2500M? Yes. So, you know, it's a, it's a fiberglass body car, but under the skin, at least the power plant and everything is what? Triumph. Triumph. Triumph running gear, six cylinder motor, I have a Triumph TR6. And so, so the, the engine, the trans, even the rear end? Yes. How about the rest of it? Um, different parts are taken different manufacturers, Ford windshield, Ford door handles. Seriously? Uh, the headlights are Triumph. Yeah. Marker lights. So what does this weigh? 2,200 pounds. <laughs> With a, what, a six cylinder? Six cylinder? 2,500, 2.5 liter. <laughs> Boy, she's tight in there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're not a small guy either. It was a lot easier back then when I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so Triumph gauges too, pretty much, or is it the same? The Smith's gauges. Smith's, which Triumph used, right? Yes. Yeah. And boy, that's a short throw shifter there. Mm -hmm. Click, yes. click, click. And then how about the, you know, they steal uh, lights and stuff out of parts the bins also? Triumph tail lights, the license plate lights, Triumph. They're, just, they're awesome looking cars, and nothing looks quite like a TVR. So Triumph engine, TR6 engine, basically. Can we yes. have a look? Sure. All right, let's do it. Open her up, George. Oh, that classic. British bonnet going up this way. And your spares up there too, yes. man. There's this is a lot going on under mm -hmm. this hood. How's the engine been for you? It's fine. No kidding. Untouched. Carburetors have never been apart. Seriously? Except for the diaphragms at the top. Man. It doesn't look like any other car out there. Do people really kind of like, oh, oh wow. You know, I what get is a that? lot of attention with the car. Yeah? Every time I pull in somewhere, a lot of times people come walk, walking up, ask me what the car is. <laughs> you know, this is the only TVR I've seen at this show, but I bet that's not uncommon for you. There's not very many of them around. <laughs> so have you been to the, the Hagley show before? Yes, I have. You kind of from around here? Yes. This is a great event. Beautiful locale. Oh, the grounds are unbelievable. Yes. I just, I love it. Well, again, the only TVR in the show, 74, 2500 now. George, I love your car, man. Okay, thank you, Dennis. That is a beauty, man. This little baby caught my eye. This is a 64 Alfa Romeo. What model? Julia Spider. Julia Spider. You know, I'm not sure I've seen a, a 64 before, and there's there's some lines in this that are almost Fiat-like, but it's but it's Alfa Romeo. Yeah, definitely, all Alfa Romeo. One of the things I always love about well, just Alfa Romeos of this of this time is is that that grill is just so great. Yeah, it's distinctive of an Alfa Romeo. It really is, and typically when you see these, they're red. Yeah. Um, but, but you yeah. went with black, and was this a black car? You guys decided it, it's going to look good in black. <laughs> it looks it would look good in black. It was uh, when we got it, it was white. You know your leather wrapped steering wheel, and then you'd redid the interior and everything too. Yes, obviously. yeah, it was ground up. No kidding. Yeah, so, everything so, came off the car. So is it fun to drive? I mean, oh god, just, it is a blast. <laughs> gotta believe. You know what? I've had, I've had newer cars, and it, this. I, I would love to take you for a ride in it because it's, it's just no, an experience none like a... You know what? I would love to take you for a ride in it. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would go. I would do that. But even from the, even from the, you know, the rear end, she just, it's really got nice lines. Yeah. So 1600, I'm assuming that's the engine designation? Yep. 1600cc. Let's go look at it. Sure. Oh man, now that's a sweet little engine. So yep. uh, I'm assuming dual overhead cam. Yes, sir. 1600 inline four, what, Weber's? Yep. Oh, man. 40 millimeter. 
bet that's a screamer. Oh, and it, it's a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it loves to run between three and 4,000 RPMs. And what's the, what's the red line on this? Is up around 65, between, Yeah, right yeah. about there. Man, she is just a beautiful, beautiful little car. Boom. Now, are you from around here? Um, yeah, I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. So you've been to the Hagley Show before? Never. Really? This is my first year. Is this great? It is awesome. I can't <sighs> believe all the great cars out oh, here. And the drive-in. <sighs> Spectacular. <laughs> right up the Brandywine. Ooh, you gotta love it. Well, man, I think this is the only Alfa Romeo 1600 Julia here. Really? I think so. Awesome. I love it, Mark. Thanks for bringing it out, man. Thank you for talking to me. 64 Alfa Romeo. Very nice. Oh man, the Hagley Car Show in Wilmington, Delaware is beyond belief. Fantastic car show, but the grounds are unbelievable. You really gotta check this one out. You will not be disappointed. 